Are you hungry? Because if so, you're in the right place. Today, we're making a classical tiramisu. Give me something, something good. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Girl Guts. As you heard, it's a classic today. It's tiramisu. If you've been around the channel for a long time, you've probably heard me say I don't like coffee desserts. There's always exceptions to the rule. This recipe is an exception to the rule. I wouldn't say tiramisu in general is an exception, but this recipe is. It's the best tiramisu ever. But before we have a look at the ingredients, do me the huge favor if you're not a subscriber to the channel yet, which I know a lot of you aren't, which is fine, but please do me the favor, support me by hitting the subscribe button and checking the bell icon so that you get a notification every Tuesday when a new episode is out. But now, let's have a look at the board. Basically all the classical tiramisu ingredients. We have our lady fingers. We have some nice espresso, some coffee liqueur. So it's 80 grams espresso, 12 grams coffee liqueur. I have 15 lady fingers. We need some um, cocoa powder, just to sprinkle on top. We have 75 grams of egg yolks, basically four large egg yolks. Half, well, a third, a fourth of a vanilla pod, 310 grams of mascarpone, and about 60 grams of sugar. The first thing we need to do, get the kitchen aid out, and we're gonna whip the egg and the sugar together with um, the vanilla. So we're just gonna scrape out the vanilla seeds and put it together with the rest. So let's get that set up. Get our eggs in there and our sugar. Hope you can see on top, that's the scrapings of the vanilla pod. Get the whisk in, the bowl up, and I will whisk this for about 10 minutes. It needs to be really nice and airy. So I'll see once this is done. We're done. And this is what you're looking for. It's like nice, soft, sugar has incorporated. Now we're gonna put this into a separate bowl for now. Don't have to worry too much if there's a little bit left. And so next step, we're putting in our mascarpone. And we put this back in. And we're not gonna whisk this, we just need to kind of stir it until it becomes soft and homogenous. So we'll do that, shouldn't take too long. We're there now, and we can put back in our egg, sugar, vanilla mixture. Increase the speed a bit and make sure they all comes together. I'll see you in a couple of minutes. We have it. Now let's put this in a separate bowl and then we're going to put everything together. We have our spectacular mascarpone cream. Now it's time to do the coffee mix and the lady fingers. First things first, coffee liqueur into the coffee. Mix it. 
where we can pour the coffee out on this plate. And now I'm making just enough for two people. So if you want for four, double the recipe. And I don't think we'll need 15 lady fingers. Maybe we'll use half of them. And we start with the lady fingers in the bottom. Yeah, will be six is enough for this one. Maybe even just five. And I like to have the bottom quite compact. And then on top of that, just the airy nice mascarpone cream. And now you can probably see why I like this tiramisu and not other tiramisus. It's not so much coffee taste in it because it's a very limited amount of soaked lady fingers. There we go. And now for our cream. Silky smooth. Gonna be a little bit too much, but that's for my daughter to eat just like that because she doesn't like tiramisu. And there we are. Now this needs to stay in the fridge for at least three hours. I'm gonna leave it overnight. So I will see you tomorrow when it's ready to do the kind of final touch it to it and give it a try. So until then. Well, you remember yesterday, a couple of seconds ago, when we made this tiramisu. Now it's been in the fridge overnight and we're gonna serve it up. But before we do that, if you stuck with me this far, there must have been something you enjoyed about this episode. So do me the huge favor and hit that thumbs up button. It's down there, it takes you a second, but it's so valuable to me, so I would really appreciate it. But now, let's try to serve this up. We will get some warm water on this spoon, so hopefully it glides better. Now we have one shot at this. Let's see if we can do it. There we go. Cocoa powder. Like so. And there we are, the most amazing tiramisu because it has more cream. That's also why it kind of folds over a bit, but it doesn't matter. It looks great and it tastes amazing. So let's dig in. Mm, can't wait. Mm. Oh. This is enough for you if you're on a diet. So good. Even like me, even for people like me that don't like coffee desserts, because the ratio of the coffee to the cream is perfect. And the coffee does actually add something quite nice, it's the bitterness. And it cuts through the sweetness of it all. Mm. But it's definitely not locale. Mm. Now, if you really, really, really don't like coffee, you can also make like a strawberry tiramisu. I made it a couple of years back. Put the link here. Um, perfect for summer. This is more autumn, winter, but um, the cream is to die for. And I can live well with the amount of coffee that comes through in this one. That's a short one. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so yet. And if you have any question about the dish, leave them in the comments below. I always answer them. 
That's it for now. Take care. Bye-bye.